Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we want to look at persistent cuts, which is a feature that allows you to use examine style cutting outside of the examine command in a persistent fashion. I'll select my block and go to the create menu where down near the bottom I have create cut planes, putting us in the cut definition panel, providing pretty standard tools for defining plane locations, a specialized cut plane which moves automatically to minimum and maximum extrema values for the selected diagnostic, and then finally down here at the bottom some tools for controlling how our cut planes are displayed or rendered in the display window. Let's switch to a y equals zero cut plane. We can see in the display window that it's rendered in a gray color, just indicating simply that we are only defining the cut plane and it does not have a diagnostic currently displayed. We'll save that cut. You can see that it is rendered persistently outside of that panel or command. I can go to the view menu now and pull down to panels and then down to persistent cuts, which opens our cuts manager which is where we can control the diagnostic function which is displayed on this cut and all cuts simultaneously. Let's scroll down and choose for instance volume. My plane is updated now and it will be automatically updated for that diagnostic every time this particular entity is changed or updated through my meshing process. Just below in the cuts frame there is a list of all cuts that are currently defined and also the blocks that are affected by, by that particular cut definition. In this example we only have one block. Selecting the cut I can come down and for instance change the transparency of that cut perhaps to improve the viewing of my grid as I'm operating or making changes to it. Selecting the cut definition itself allows me to edit the cut definition which simply takes me back into the cut definition command panel with the only change or difference being the ability to change the block selection. I should also point out that you can also create persistent cuts from within the examine command panel on the cuts tab and also I'd like to reiterate that these cuts do update automatically as you make changes to your grid. If you like this video be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.